fake life, fake life, fake life. You see, eh? contentment, they say, is the key. In this life, be very contented with whatever you have. Don't be pushed with what you see around or what people are showcasing or flaunting here and there. Most of these things are not fake. Babash. You go see person, they flaunt so many things and you say, when you say that you're doing well on your own, you are doing, you are okay. You got no problem. You are even better than that person. But because the person has mastered the social media and how it is being run, this person will come and be flaunting a lot of things. And you will feel like that person have money. You that you are trying your best. You that you are trying your best. You now come and be shouting, oh, God went, God went. Imagine Bob Brisky. Imagine Bob Brisky borrowed four million naira from someone. Instead of him to pay that money back, he's now blackmailing someone on top of the money you borrowed. When you were in need, someone borrowed you money. You called, you calmed your mind down, you bring your spirits down, you pleaded for money. And this person now sent you four million naira. You guys had an agreement that you will pay on so 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 dates. On that date, you started doing Megmarango. Started meandering. Instead of you to say, I don't have the money yet. Or use touch mind, use good mouth to, to plead with that person to please allow me, give me some time. You did not do it. Instead, you started. You went to blackmail him. Now your nash don't they open everywhere. Very dark man don't really buy your matter. Now we don't know. Say you don't even enter prison. This matter now don't expose you. Now we know you never entered prison. No wonder you came out and you were looking so beautiful. I did so. You were just looking okay. They said you should enter. They gave you an apartment. You have to pay. Hey, this Nigeria is corrupt. So. Nigeria is corrupt. Someone that committed a crime, they said they sent him to prison. They called the controller of prisons, according to very dark man, according to what he posted on his page. And now uh, this Boboriski himself used his mouth talker when he went to borrow money from someone. And he was, you know, so that's why to borrow money is a very bad thing. Because when you, when you want to borrow, or when you come to people to borrow money, you have to explain and explain and explain. And before you know it, you go even explain your intestine joint. So he came to borrow money and he started narrating so many things, so many things that happened. Along the line, this guy mentioned that he paid the controller general of, 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 of prisons 15 million naira. They now gave him an apartment and instructed him not to come out. People say this guy did not enter prison. The guy don't look like a person who enter prison because he was answering call, he was doing so many, he was just doing his normal transaction, he was just doing everything. He did a lot while he was in prison. The only thing that happened was that he never came out. After all said and done, when I still from that apartment, go to license from prison, they come out. Ah, Nigeria. Eh? Come bring Bobriski out. Now, a lot of people now go open. A lot of things. This, your mouth way long, like waiting and no, on a mouth go open. You don't have money. You are here intimidating people. No, you do birthday and was just flaunting a lot of things. You couldn't pay ordinary four million naira that you borrowed from someone. Instead of you to pay that money, you now decided to blackmail the person on top of your on top of the four hundred or four million naira. Sorry. Now you don't they beg. I heard that he has paid the money back because his nails don't they open. Very dark man. That op no go relax. Keep on op exposing him. No, don't go and relax anything new. All those ones that you said you don't want to talk about because he has paid the money, don't even relent. But I'm so surprised that the, the, this country, eh, the level of corruption we have in this country, a whole controller general of prisons collecting 15 million naira and give someone an apartment outside the prison yard. So that was, that was why he came out and he was just behaving anyhow because he knows that nothing happened. Nothing happened. He never entered prison. You see, Una, for this country, you see you people for this country. Now only God will judge all of them.